Hey everyone, Arnaldo Offerman with Compu Show Video Manuals. And today I wanna to talk to you about a, a quick little fix that I did for uh, something that I've been working on. So we have a show coming up where I needed to create a powerful light show with the least amount of fixtures possible. And for this, we've chosen our the new ADJ uh, Hex 5P fixtures, which are basically the Hex LED. You have red, green, blue, UV, white, amber. It's a great fixture to just give me a good bang for the buck and to still create some powerful effects out of one can. You know, so I have my floods, I've got strobes, and I've got a UV effect. Now, with this particular light, even though I can't do a UV as a black light while the floods are on because the color mixes, it still allows me separately to do some, you know, to do the effects respectively. But again, I'll save that for a later review. I wanted to find a way that I could easily program this because when I looked at the actual instruction manual, I saw that there was only one dimmer and only one uh, shutter. So that means if I make a, if I make it strobe, everything's going to strobe. And I thought, ah, that may not be what I want. So how can I make this work? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to go ahead and close this stuff here. Let's see. If you hear random noises, that's because of the MIDI map through that I have. So I can control, like with my MIDI con, I can control CompuShow and Arceus at the same time. And again, that's for much later on. We're going to go ahead and open up our 5P Hex, which is right here. Ultra Hex Par. Now I'm using the Par 3 from the 3 LED version, but it's the same LED mapping. I'm just going to go ahead and merge it with this dock here. And I've already made these, so you can kind of see what I did. So I basically have a couple of tabs. I have, of course, you know, we have a regular dimmer tab. I have a shutter strobe, which originally came with it. I am not using any of those. I am, I made my own tabs. The first one is the black lights tab, which I have it as always on because I control it with my Medicon. My black lights are always activated. It's just, you know, what dimming setting I have. And this is very simple. What I did here when I open it up, I have my dimmer is always on. And if I need to, I can actually, you know, activate the um, always take priority or anything like that if I need to override anything last minute. But I just have the dimmer always on. So basically that means that if I dim this, or if I dim the actual dimmer, it's not gonna affect that at all. But I do have the UV on a dimmer value. Now if I wanted to, I could also use the min max. So it doesn't matter which one you use because when you actually control it, let me see if, see if uh, the fixtures page will show that. Let's go over there. Now, of course, it doesn't show the black light, unfortunately, but when I turn the black lights on, it'll dim them up. Great. So that's super easy. And I can dim it because it's not using the dimmer value. It's actually dimming the black light value itself. If I go here and I control this, and I dim this one up and down, it's not gonna dim these. Now, the other way around is not the same because if I take the page dimmer to dim my colors down, it's of course going to override my black light. But that's not a big deal. I mean, really, I'm not really heartbroken about it. It just means that if I want to mix and match a little bit, I can do that a little bit better than before. Now, the same thing happens with the strobe. Here's the switch that I made for strobe. And it's very simple. What I did is I didn't use the strobe function. See if I have that strobe right there? Because if I use this strobe function or the shutter function, it's going to override my amber, my UV, my red, green, and blue, whatever. I don't want her to do that. Instead, I went to easy step and I made a simple on off. I, I kid you not. I made an on off. Okay. And I made the whole time as basically as small as possible. So one fourth of a second or whatever it would be or four nano millisecond yeah four milliseconds is what it would be and literally when i click that you can kind of see there so I zoom in a little bit there's my ultra hex bar so i can control the speed of it compu show has a really neat little feature and that is that if it does not see a dimmer value meaning that if the light doesn't have a dimmer that's activated, it will write, or write the actual um, value or the value of the available 
sorry, if it doesn't see an actual dimmer option, so again, the dimmer right now is set to solid on, it's going to dim this guy. So it will literally dim that guy respectively to the program. So what this means is that I can dim my strobe, but it doesn't mess with my color function. Okay, so again, you see there how it's dimming, or not dimming, strobing. I can shut it off. And I can dim my strobe down without it overriding the actual dimmer. But again, the opposite is not true because the colors, unfortunately, I can't dim all the colors respectively at the same time. Not in this particular mode. So if I take, let me go ahead and shut this color off. If I go into my strobe and I dim my master page, it's going to dim my strobe, of course. If I go into here, my color mix, and I do my dimmer, now it does write that separately. But again, that's for that particular scene. So if I make a whole bunch of color mix uh, options and I want to dim it with the Medicon, then I need to map every single color because these are all the flood color swaps that I made that include the 5P. That means that I have to map every single one of these or the compressions to the Medicon and not the page. So again, if I use the page, it's gonna dim the whole page, meaning that actual dimmer. Let me see here. If I dim the page here, it's gonna dim this guy right here. We don't want it to do that. So you want to dim the dimmer for each scene and CompuShow does those calculations automatically. Now what this means is if you have a light that didn't have a dimmer at all, it would still dim it with your colors and everything else, again, just for that particular scene. To me, that's a pretty big deal because that means I can now dim the black lights, or I can have my black lights, excuse me, uh, and my strobe, and, or my color, I'm getting all jumbled here. I can have my black lights on, so all, all the way up here. Come on, there we go. I can have that all the way up. I can have my color mix, and then when I dim out of my color mix, my black lights would still be nice and vibrant. Or I can have my strobe, again, that's all the way up there. I have my color mix tab, and I bring it back down. Of course, again, we got our strobe all the way up here, and I have my, um, there we go right there, whoops, what is, there we go, what is it doing? Sorry, that's my, me dragging the mouse. So again, you can actually see the strobe function of the hex bar. Ignore these two, that's just a, a way that it's rendering right now because I'm running on a beta. But you can actually see the strobe there. And if I dim this guy down, it doesn't affect the strobe because I'm not dimming the page, I'm dimming the individual scene. And again, I know that was a little confusing, but I hope that kind of gives you an idea of the way the CompuShow runs faders or for your dimming. So basically your page actually writes the dimmer itself. So if there's a dimmer function, page will write that dimmer or it'll write the dimmer of every value in there. If you do it for that scene, it's only going to dim that particular scene without it overwriting everything else. How it does that, how it does the math calculations is beyond me and I try not to figure it out. I just know that it works. The way that I think it does work is, let's say we have this scene here and then we dim up and down. Let me go ahead and initialize out of there. Okay, so we have this dim right there. The way that I think it does that is that when I actually dim it, again, it doesn't use this dimmer switch, not because it's deactivated, it just doesn't use it at all. Instead, it dims these guys that are activated. So right now it's these four, it dims these four respectively. So whenever I dim it down, it dims them down respectively. When I dim it up, it dims it up respectively, almost using min and max values. And if you didn't get it, you don't have to, you just have to know that it does work. That is a huge feature. Not a lot of softwares out there have this sort of thing. You know, you have a, one dimmer, and if you dim one thing, it there you go, that's it. You know, that's all it takes. So this means that in my MIDI con, let's go ahead and open up the MIDI con now. Okay, so if I wanted to map this to control my 5P as a flood, just a dimmer for the color floods, right? Because in my MIDI con, I have, this one will control the dimmer, 
This one controls the freaks, and then these are uh, flash buttons to control the freaks and different functions of the freaks, right? Well, if I have this to control the 5P in general, as like the master page, right? If I have that control the 5 piece, that's going to pretty much mess up this show. And I don't want it to, you know, control my floods or my strobes. But that means that I would have to map each individual scene because as we learned, this individual dimmer will not affect these two for these two shows or vice versa. This uh, dimmer here for the color mix all doesn't affect the dimmer for the strobe that I made or the black lights. But that means I'd have to map every individual scene. And that can be kind of a pain. Well, the easiest way would be that I go into here. There we go. See right there how that controls dimmer for the page? Instead of doing that, I would actually delete this guy. And I'm going to go into the compression. And we're going to go into compression dimmer. We're going to deselect these. And we're going to go into master because I want to select the master page. And we're going to do the compression for red. And you're good to go there. Now, of course, this now controls everything. So it'll override my other fixtures as well. And there are ways that you can get around doing that, but that's for a whole different section. We're just pretending you're using, using this for your 5P, right? So we now have we can actually dim the compression of the red. So if, even if I select this one here where it's you know different red and green, it still controls that one. It controls everything within this compression. So that means that if I dim this, of course I, I would want to delete the page one so it doesn't control my page, right? So let's go ahead and do that actually. Let me copy, delete. Okay, so now it's no longer affecting my ultra hex par. It doesn't affect the master dimmer. Now it controls the dimmer for each individual compression. So if I dim this, my black lights and my floods will still be on. Again, that's an absolute big deal that I can have one light and have a different strobe function, a different dimmer function, even if there's only one strobe and dimmer in the lights DMX streets. This may have been the most confusing thing for me to explain, Hopefully you understood what I was saying. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. God bless.